action at the end of that round to end after it and uh, wins the Durban. Another good round for Costa Zoom. Certainly finished the round well. I thought he was given a lot of problems by Hernandez earlier in the round, Jeff Fennick. Yeah, he was mauled, he was held, and uh, he was a little frustrated, but when he did land with a big punch at the end, Hernandez was hurt. He might have opened his mouth, and here they are. Left, right to the head, left hook. Look at Hernandez. And he wobbled, he wobbled. He certainly did. Here they come There's down. the taunting. Look at the taunting of, uh, of Hernandez. Jeff, what's the feeling when a boxer starts to mouth off in the ring? I know plenty of times it happened to you. Well, if they've got uh, time to think about mouthing off, they're really not thinking about the fight. And, you know, Costa's deadly focused. He's not because he's getting hurt. Okay, so there it was. Open mouth. Angel Hernandez. Anything but an angel in close, I might add, too. I think he's, uh, he's been given a... Uh, uh, the wrong tag there with the name Angel. In close, he's uh, anything but. He's got lumps on his collarbones, about three inches high, so he uses that shoulder pretty well. Certainly does. Built in shoulder pads. Round five, Hernandez and Zoo. But this is what Costa's got to do. He's going to work off his jab, be a little bit of distance. This guy's starting to hurt and tire. And then he'll land with big punches like those. Well, he almost swung himself off his feet, Costa yeah. Zoo there. Uh, with the power of the punch, looking for the big one, Costa Zoo at the moment. And underneath goes Hernandez, Hernandez inside, beating yeah. him to the punch. But he shouldn't look for the big one. Did you just see as he started out slow, he was able to land with the big ones. So it's a question of patience then for Costa Zoo. Oh, uppercut, a good punch by Costa Zoo, straightening up the Puerto Rican. Feigning injury is, uh, is Angel Hernandez. Right over the top by Hernandez. Misses with a left over the top. He's come to rumble, all right, and to rumble it is. In close, Costa Zoo now. Right by Costa Zoo. Well, he's Left giving by Costa contest. Zoo. Right, right by Costa Zoo again. Left rabbit killer there by Costa Zoo to the back of the neck. Referee saying, free the hands. And punch out of it. Hernandez smothering Costa Zoo in close. Still remaining. Almost on the ropes. Beats Costa Zoo to the punch, but Zoo hits him with the right. Short jab left there from well, the shoulder, shoulder again, again and shoulder, shoulder. Again. Laid out. He got, that's the spot Turn the right. come on punching out of it was Costa Zoo left by Zoo right by Zoo left by Zoo again a huge combination and then is in trouble again it's gone the right by legs Costa buckled. Zoo the legs buckled again from the, the Puerto Rican but he has game as they come and he remains on his feet Hernandez copping some Heavy punching there from Costa Zoo. Yes, yeah, certainly One the world amateur champion, former seconds. world amateur champion, very impressive. Still a minute left in this round. Yeah, great performance there by Zoo, but Hernandez would not go down. Showing great courage is the Puerto Rican. Been down once in round two. If he hadn't come here to fight, he could have gone down by now and no one would have said a word. But he has come to fight, he's here to put up a, put up a show, and he's certainly doing that. Hernandez realises if he beats Zoo, he's got a chance at a world title. And he's that's a big opportunity. in the world in the IBF at the moment. And Angel Hernandez said he'd come to fight. He said he'd put away Costa Zoo in round seven. Well, there have been times when he didn't appear to be here in round seven. And right now is one again. He's buckled again. 28 seconds remaining in the, this round five. Costa Zoo looking with a the left there. Left over the top by Costa Zoo. Again, the legs buckle from Hernandez. He's hanging on though. And he'll see out this round. Round five. 13 seconds remaining in the round. Left by Zoo. A good punch. And again, Hernandez buckled. A right underneath by Costa Zoo. Oh, the uppercuts are vicious. And Hernandez now just standing there. Popping the punishment from, from Costa Zoo at the end of round five. And a great round for Costa Zoo. And the uppercut, the underneath punches. A new punch to the kick, Jeff Fennick. Well, it's not a new one, but it's using it lots more tonight. I mean, just there in the last 10 seconds of that round, he worked the uppercut and he worked the body with tremendous results. It's just a pity this kid don't do it all the time. He's, a re he's really a headhunter, and if he went to the body more Windsor, what do you think? I think you're right. He's, he's looking for the one-punch knockout all the time. When he goes to the combinations, he, wa he wears people down very quickly, but instead he's hunting for the head. The combinations work superbly. Round five and uh, Hernandez really troubled here towards the end of this round. This is uh, Costa Zoo, a great right by Zoo, and he almost lifted him up. We'll see the uppercut shortly as uh, Costa Zoo right through the guard there, just bustling his way through the guard of Hernandez. Feigning to throw the right, throwing the left. There's the right over the top. And uh, Costa Zoo, very impressive in close, Jeff Fennick. Awesome punching power, but this Angel Hernandez is showing how tough he is. Now they come to uh, 
round six, and he looks as though he's been under a waterfall. Does uh, Angel Hernandez, his on, trunks punch, are punch drenched with water. They virtually threw a half a bucket over him, and uh, he's finding the heat here at the Newcastle Entertainment Centre, something to overcome as well as the never-ending fists of uh, Costa Zoo. Into round six now. The left lead, poked out by Angel Hernandez, crouching then, going underneath, hanging on, trying to make it awkward as, uh, as he can for Costa Zoo. He's been down in round two, he's almost been down in round four and five, and he is still here in centre ring at the Newcastle Entertainment Centre. Hope you're enjoying the action through Sky Channel, through Special Transponder 8 in your favourite hotel or club right around Australia. Angel Hernandez is showing that he's worked very, very hard for this fight, being hit with him big punches and be able to come back out each round, look, look as fresh as he does, is a remarkable, it's, a, it's really uh, a sign of letting us all know how fit he is here tonight. And he's beaten uh, Costa Zoo to the punch with left leads, wins the Dobbins several times in this sixth round. He has, he's beaten him with the left leads, but I'm not sure how much Benham there is left in those left leads. Um, possibly a little bit less than there was at the start of the fight. Zoo walking through again there. Yeah, Costa Zoo again he's having Hernandez on the ropes, but Hernandez coming out with a very strong left there, as if to say, well, I've copped the best, I've beaten down. You haven't caught my best yet, Buster. But a left by Costa Zoo. That uppercut, lifts and right uppercuts tonight. Certainly being thrown with uh, a lot more rapidity than we've seen from Costa in his previous 11 fights as a professional. And he's got to do that because uh, he gives away height and reach to most of his opponents. Oh, he got oh, good there. right by Hernandez. But Costa just walked straight through it and responded himself. He did. It was a good right by he Hernandez. He can't afford to get caught like that, Zoo. That's what happens when you hold your hands low. Oh, you, good you right by Costa, Zoo, and a left. And uh, he's certainly willing to take a couple to uh, to give them. But he hasn't moved. Well, Hernandez is hitting with some good shots, but uh, he just kept coming through. Certainly got a solid chin, Costa, Zoo. He certainly has. Right over the top by Costa, Zoo, missing the target. Let him go. Go. Referee Billy Miles putting his right hand on the head of Hernandez frequently in the clinches. Well, they said this was a danger fight for Zoo, and certainly Hernandez proving a dangerous opponent. Certainly is. Hasn't worried Zoo to this stage, but uh, still there. There's and that's still a worry. Lurking, lurking potential menace there, though. In his 11 fight career, you've got to really say he's for all kinds of fighters now, and this is just another lesson. Another test that, as far as I'm concerned, he's certainly passing, and uh, it also feels, you know, very, uh, it, it looks good for the future. Uh, certainly passing him with flying colours. I mean, he's an awkward customer. He's only been beaten by Chavez, and here Costa has uh, dominated most rounds. Sure, Hernandez is still there, but uh, I think every round that Costa Zoo goes against fighters like this fellow, uh, he's going to improve all the time. There's the end of round six. Costa Zoo. A good learning experience this for Costa Zoo. And if he can beat the fighters of the calibre of Hernandez and Hector Lopez, then he's probably ready for Jake the Snake and Rodriguez. A lot of puffiness. I think it's over the left eye, or under the left eye of Costa Zoo. Yes, a lot of right. puffiness. There he is now, and uh, that left eye is, uh, is, is got to be causing a little bit of a worry. Laurie Nichols is up doing his Tigers dance. Throwing a few punches out there for Costa. There you go, John. Here's, Here's a replay. A replay of uh, the action in round six. About. And there's the left that got uh, through it's, the but See there, Peter, the again, it's all it's to the head. Why doesn't he stay low and work that body? It's such a tremendous body punch. I just I would wish he would stay down, tuck the head down, put the chin down, and work through the body. And then his opponents will drop their hands. They won't be able to hold him up that high. Okay, so cut the tree down. Cut the tree down from the trunk, says uh, Jeff Finnick, as we get into round seven. Windsor Dobbin, are you impressed with Costa Zoo's last try? I'm very impressed with Costa Zoo. He's, he's used that uppercut very effectively. Uh, it does worry me that he kicks his hands down so low, but he's never going to change that, so that's just the way he fights. Certainly is a bit of puffiness, as uh, Jeff Finnick pointed out, under the left eye of uh, Costa Zoo. We're in round seven. This is the predicted round for a KO by Angel Hernandez. Well, Hernandez is still there, and uh, he's a uh, dangerous customer, as both Jeff Finnick and Windsor Dobbin, my co-commentators here at ringside at the Newcastle Entertainment Centre have stressed here tonight. And uh, here's Hernandez switching it around a little bit now, and he has Costa Zoo against the ropes, but not punching away from the ropes. And uh, Zoo comes at him very strongly. Costa Zoo was just goading Angel Hernandez, hands right down, head right in front of his face, inviting him to throw punches, but he wouldn't throw them. Left and right by Costa Zoo as he goes in and clinches in. And the heads go both both go down there like a couple of billy goats on occasions here in this fight right by uh, Billy Miles in close. Billy Miles breaks them up. 
Left and right by Costa Zoo. Left by Angel Hernandez. Left and right again by Hernandez. Costa Zoo. Again has Hernandez on the ropes. He spent a lot of the fight there on the ropes and even through them on one occasion in uh, round two. The awkward Puerto Rican hanging in. Costa Zoo with a left. Trying to work him against the ropes, but Zoo, Zoo's being held and yep. Hernandez has learned his lesson and, and he spins Hernandez him around. Hernandez swinging there. around Costa Zoo. Zoo made sure he didn't turn around because he knew that Hernandez was lying in wait. I think uh, the Costa Zoo record shows if you go past six or seven rounds, you'll go the distance with him. Laporte, Bramble, survived half the fight, they, they last the distance. Will this one go the distance tonight? Well, it uh, didn't look like it early, but uh, uh, certainly we're into round seven now of this scheduled ten three-minute rounds, and uh, maybe um, Angel Hernandez is uh, going to see it through. Costa Zoo doing his darndest to put another KO on his record, but he's a tough customer, Hernandez. Right missing from Costa Zoo. And the timing of uh, both fighters well astray in this round, round seven. Yeah, this is a, this is a horrible wrestling match this round, but well, that suits Hernandez. Well, that's the main reason is because Hernandez is, is, is a sporting kind of fighter. Well, he's he's holding. Gone, he? He's just like a big pro man that's just holding and, and just surviving. Yeah, he's, he's decided to survive, I think. But Costa's well, got to work to the body to make him, you know, well, make him a fight his fight. By Angel Hernandez. Get out. 21 seconds left, then uh, 20 seconds left for Hernandez to live up to his boast of the seventh round KO. I think that's most unlikely. I think it's unlikely too. He, uh, he's going to survive round seven, though. He didn't look it early in the fight. So uh, a pretty ugly round this one, where there's been a lot of holding by the Puerto Rican as he uh, attempts to do, uh, as Jeff Fennec pointed out, to survive against Costa Zuzu, though. Very intent on going after the Puerto Rican end of round seven and uh, uh, a terrific lead for Costa Zoo. But uh, the last couple of rounds, certainly the Puerto Rican has tied him up in close uh, using his shoulders and head. Big cut on the on the right eye of Angel Hernandez. Big cut. Yeah, gash over his forehead. I can Big see that. cut. The fight, I think the fight will be stopped. Okay, there it is. There's the cut. I think the fight will be stopped. Billy Miles having a very Let's listen to the referee. Okay. Uh, I have to get the doctor, I'm sorry. But I know that's no, no little point to that. Come on. Punch. Okay, you, 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 you punch, please. No, I'm please. not, I'm not arguing. I'm not saying it. No legal point through that, you know that. No uh -huh. legal point that No losing points through that, says the court. The cut happened at the end of the round, right that corner, and Hernandez complained that it was a hit. I, I didn't really notice it. Well, Billy Miles, a very proficient referee, has called on the doctor. Lou Lewis Lou looking Lewis over the look corner. At it. It's a terrible cut. It is a terrible cut. Finished. Lewis, is, Lewis has said he's going to stop the fight. Felix Pintor, the trainer, is very angry about this. But Lewis has said it stopped. Costa Zoo, the winner. Costa Zoo, the winner. Gash. Now, that's a giant gash over the eyebrow. Yeah, it is a giant gash at the end of the round. And uh, that's a tough way for... Uh, for the fight to finish, Jeff Finnick, uh, you hitting ahead. Uh, Felix Pintor is hitting that it was ahead that uh, that finished the fight, not not a punch. Well, it happened right at the end of the round, over in the neutral corner, and it, uh, he is saying it was ahead. But whether it was or whether or not, you know, uh, Costa Zoo was definitely in front. No doubt about it. Costa Zoo was well in front in the fight. And uh, there we have it. At the end of round seven, the fight has been stopped by the referee, Billy Miles, following a cut over the right eye of... Uh, if, we could, if we could see a replay Angel right at Hernandez. the end of that round... We'll have a look at it shortly, Jeff. Let's go to our ring announcer, Ray Conley, with the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, due to a severe eye injury above... There was the and through the right eyebrow of Angel Hernandez. There was a head and a left, and it was hard to tell which one caused it. seven, maintaining his unbeaten professional record. 12 bouts, 12 successes, nine inside the distance. Kostya Zhu. Well, there's Kostya Zhu. Winner by TKO at the end of uh, round seven, and it's a very disappointed Puerto Rican camp. Felix Pintor complaining that it was ahead, but and uh, well, there's uh, the elated 
cost you zoo. Certainly a head did go in there, Peter, and it was followed by a left hand. A question about which one caused it. Uh... Well, Hernandez did know at the end of the round he showed concern straight away that he had a cut. I'm sure there's going to be some controversy in the ring. I'll go to centre ring and uh, see what we can pick up. Yep, Costa Zoo walking around waving to his fans. Blowing kisses to the crowd. He's delighted, Costa Zoo. Laurie Nichols, the Balmain supporter behind him. Hernandez going around, getting a round of applause from the fans. He put up a very good show. Stopped for only the second time in his career, losing for only the second time in his career, Jeff Fennick. Certainly yeah. a good professional, Hernandez. Yes, well, he was very, very clever. And, uh, and he did the best he could out there, and he certainly had reason to, to lay down a couple of Felix times, but he showed Pintor. tremendous heart and kept fighting on. at the result of the contest, Felix. I'm going to be honest, like, with, with all the fans, they did a good fight. So far, I was seeing uh, Taitsu might be winning yeah. the fight. For well, the Puerto Rican's unhappy. We'll, uh, we'll go to a break and be back with you at Newcastle Entertainment Centre very shortly. Clean punches.